Hey, hello everybody. We're going to put some strings on this brand new 2015. I've been holding back on this wood for nearly 10 years, waiting for that someday to make up the best of the best. And that was in the last few months. And then the next few months of year 2015, right now it's, uh, it's July 1st or something like that. It's almost 4th of July. Right here I'm putting in a 46, that's my lowest string. I tune it to an A myself. So let's say I'm going to put an F or something like that down there, and then I start with a 52 or a 56. These can go take to a 60 no problem. All I do is I just take this little pliers and hold it real tight and bend it back and forth real quick a few times. And boom, it's off. These latest bridges and nuts we just had them made are just sweet, sweet, sweet. This next one's a 38. I tune mine to a C because this is going to be a C6 tuning guitar. Trusty little tuner. A on the bottom. This is the G in this tuning, so it's A, C, E, G. seventh chord that's nice for strumming this is an O20 plane and it's going to be an A that's A this next one here was a 17 and we're going to bring it up to sound pretty good. This one's going to be tuned up to an E. It's an O14 string. C, E, A, G, E. G is an O11 and we're going to bring it up now. Now if you noticed I haven't stretched the strings like some people do. When you do that it does bring them to stable quicker but it also Wherever you end up with it, you get that for like an hour and then it's over. If you just keep bringing it up and bringing it up with your tuner, it doesn't take that long for the strings to stabilize, but they'll last like days, weeks, and years mm -hmm. if you don't do the stretching idea. Because that changes the molecules in the strings. If you do it this way, it just keeps getting more taut until the string 
the molecules naturally balance out. Alright, here we go. G up to G. And then E. C. is just your basic glass bar. It's not really made for, a, you know, it's like more of a slide thing than a steel guitar. I'm playing to my little uh, Roland Cube two-inch speaker. I think it's like one or two watts. This has never had strings or anything on it. It's just straight up the way it sounds right now, first try. Sounds pretty good to me. Mm -hmm. 